What is that, Mace? Manatee. Manatee. A manatee, okay. <laughs> he said, I've seen one. Emma, Emma, say Mimo! <laughs> Macadamias? The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice are well known These are just a few of the other plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in dragon surfaces yeah. and water lily. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for the people. Is that true? What's up, baby? One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making them the most popular fruit in the world.
Look, Kim. Our small fish <laughs> over there to add nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants. Look, Jessica. <laughs> Edible plant species in the world. Most of us are only familiar with the people who are only every day dying. The common grains growing here are wheat, maize, sorghum, and milk plus rice account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learn how to pomegranate. Why do my pomegranate trees not look that good? That's what our trees are supposed to look like. <laughs> Big, look at the pig. Look, that's like Zuka's growing there, don't just about. There's a winter watermelon. How about that? That's the pumpkin's growing on vines, on wire. Look at the eggplants, that's crazy. growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique All those eggplants cycles water and nutrients. <laughs> we can produce a thousand right? heads of lettuce and peas in this one small area. Cucumbers. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature. Like lettuce, fruit, and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants, look at those tomatoes. Look at those tomatoes. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 50 look at those tomatoes from our green yeah, house here at the land every year. Those are giant. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left. Combines hydroponics with look at the interest to provide a natural source of fertilizer <laughs> for the plants. And the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. Zucas. Now we can find out what to do with them.
What'd you just do? Pet a honeybee. Pet a honeybee. That's That's right. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Honeybees rock, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.